Howdy, y'all. So I am going to uh, take you through the law of conservation of energy all the way from sunlight to electricity. And so we'll start off with uh, this warm up and it says, if you are naughty around Christmas, what do you get in your stocking? Uh, hopefully you've never gotten this. Maybe you deserved it. Um, you know what that is, right? Coal. So what does it have to do with the photo to the right? And so um, heat energy, right? So we're talking about the laws of conservation of energy. And which way did he go, George? And we're trying to figure out where the energy goes and how we go from sunlight all the way to electricity. And we're, we've, we know a lot of that story. We just need to piece it together now. So let's go to this picture here. So here I have a picture. Let me move myself a little bit. Can't move myself any more than that, I guess. Here I have a picture of a voltmeter. And the voltmeter is set up next to a uh, coil of wires. And the coil of wire is looped around and it's connected to the voltmeter. And then I have a strong magnet. And I will move the magnet back and forth next to the coil, which you saw me do in class, hopefully. And that makes the, the needle go back and forth in the voltmeter, making what's called alternating current. And uh, that follows a, a law that we have that's called Faraday's law. And Faraday's law says that the amount of voltage that we can induce through induction is proportional to the amount of coils that we have in the wire and to the speed with which the magnetic field changes next to those coils. So to put it briefly, Faraday's law says the more coils you have, and the more speed of your magnets you have, the more electricity you can get. And so what we do is we take our little motor set up, but this time we use it as a generator. And on the inside, we have these wires, which are the red things. And we're going to spin them inside the magnetic field, which is two large magnets that you see above and below. And so that will cause induction by Faraday's law. And the more coils we have, and the more... Um, and the faster we spin it, the more electricity will be sent to our houses. So uh, that's the beginning of this, and it is Faraday's law, and that is how we are going to begin. Now let's move on to the actual law of conservation of energy. And so the law of conservation of energy and electricity. So the first thing I want to tell you is most of our energy gets to the Earth in the way of sunlight. And so the light is going to shine down upon the planet. And uh, so here you have it. You have uh, sunlight shining down on the earth. And uh, that is going to allow the trees to grow. And so the next step is the biomatter, like the trees, is going to grow in the forest. And um, that is going to make biomass. And so here I have the, the redwood forest that would be growing for just many thousands of years. But they'll die. And when they die, they'll get covered up in the ground. And so here are some dead trees underneath the earth. And then over time, those things will actually turn into a coal seam. They'll, they'll turn, um, it takes like 30 million years for uh, a foot of redwood forest to be compressed into a seam of coal. And so here I am in West Virginia, and I've got my little coal mine. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig up the coal, and uh, there's your there's your coal that you might find in your stocking, right? And there's some coal you might find in your stocking, and um, that's the first part of the law of conservation of energy. That coal is potential energy; it's chemical potential energy. So we go from sunlight to biomass, and from biomass to what we would call fossil fuels like coal, and then we're going to ship that coal um, to our factories. And so here we go; we got our coal. And now I'm going to ship that coal to our factories. Whoop, and there it goes. And so now we're following the trail from our coal here to our factories. And this is our chemical potential energy. And so now I'm going to take that chemical potential energy and I am going to use it to start a fire on the inside of my furnace. And so I start a fire there. Now this is getting nice and hot. I got some smoke billowing out of the top of my um, furnace here and um, making all sorts of temperature in here. And so that it, temperature is going to take water, and the water is actually going to boil. And when it boils, it's going to create steam and pressure. And that pressure is going to be pushing out through a pipe, a very strong pipe. And then we're going to connect that pipe 
to a steering turbine. And so on the inside of here, we have something that is able to spin. It, the, as the steam goes through and comes out, this thing spins and it sends this spinning motion as it um, turns around and around like this. And it's spinning this way. And it sends it once again to our um, generator. And so the generator will cause the wires to spin very quickly on the inside of um, the generator. And so now the wires are spinning around. And so um, that will allow this generator to do work. But the work is in the form of creating electricity. And so as we go through here, we have the coal, which is our chemical potential energy. We burn that to make heat. That heat Q is going to go into our um, water to make steam, which will make internal energy U. That steam will go through the steam turbine, which will spin. That spinning will turn into work. And that work will give us electricity. And so that energy will be turned into electricity. And so here you go. I am going to light up this thing with electricity. Boom. And the, the electricity goes through the wires. Um, there's two tabs coming out. It, just as you um, connected the two um, tabs of the little motor that I gave you, you connected that to the battery. And the electricity went inside those tabs and caused the motor to spin. This time, the spinning of the turbine is going to cause electricity to go through those tabs and out of the tabs. And they'll go through two wires. That's why you have two wires at your house to um, go into your um, toaster or into your hair dryer or into your vacuum cleaner. Um, we need to complete a complete circuit. And so one wire is for going in and one wire is for coming out. So here I go. This thing spins according to Faraday's law. And electricity is induced through the metal into the wire. The wire goes into the um, lines and the lines go to your house. And so here we go. Let's string it all the way to our house during the Christmas season. And we got our house ready for Christmas lights. And let's complete the circuit. And so there we go. I got my lights. The lights are going off and on and off and on. And so now I got uh, electricity all the way to my house. And so that, in a nutshell, is the law of conservation of energy with respect to um, electricity and Faraday's law.